everywhere I go, men, usually CEOs, because most of them are CEOs, say to me, you are costing me so much money. <laughs> because all the women want to be paid as much as the men. <laughs> and to them I say, I'm not sorry at all. I'm thrilled. Yeah. If people will read the book or join a circle or look at our online negotiating lecture and go get themselves a raise, that's awesome. How did you deal with the one main criticism that kept coming out all year long about lean in was, was the elitism argument that, um, well, of course you can lean in. You've, you know, Harvard MBA with this stellar career and you've got staff at home and, and at work that enable you to do all this stuff. And, you know, your average woman just can't do that. How do you answer that? So I was really clear up front in the book that I understand that I have resources most people don't have. Most people in this room have resources most people don't have. But leaning in is about equality. So two weeks ago, the census data came out. A lot of people, I think, noticed this. And what did we learn? Yet again, exactly no progress in closing the wage gap for women in this country. Since 2002, women across the board have been paid 77 cents to the dollar. If you're a woman of color, African-American women are paid 64 cents, Latinas are paid 54 cents. Yeah. That's inappropriate and unacceptable. And leaning in is about closing those gaps that affect all of us, but actually are not less important for the women who aren't in this room. They're more important. And it's up to all of us to work together to close those gaps. Yeah. You and I had this conversation about this sort of ball juggling. Um, and people look at you and they wonder, you know, how, are, how is she doing this all? And you've got to be stressed. And, you know, where does she drop the ball? And you, you answer that. I want you to answer that again. Tina Fey has this great point. She wrote in her book. She went on a movie tour with Steve Carroll, I think her co-star. Let's review. They're both com comedians with their own TV show, both parents, both have kids. Yeah. They were promoting a movie. They could not be more similar. Every single, every single reporter asked her, how do you do it all? And no one asked him. Right. And so that is reminding her, and all of us, you can't do it. That's why we're asking you. If we thought you could do it, we wouldn't ask you. And we don't ask men that same question. And I think that is what really, really needs to change. We, start need, we need to start asking men, how do you do it all? How do you be a father and an employer? <laughs> I love that. Right? And, and I think the other thing we need to recognize, and I love doing this in this room, I don't think I've done it here yet, is we have all of these messages which explicitly discourage leadership in girls. Please raise your hand. I usually do men and women, but there are no men here, so I'll just do women. Please raise your hand if you were called bossy as a child. <laughs> That's great. Keep your hands up. Please keep your hand up if your brother was called bossy. Please raise your hand if you've been told you're too aggressive at work. Yeah. Please raise your hand if your male colleagues have been told they're too aggressive. Yeah. That's what Lean In is trying to change.